For the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Michelle Wargo. The school board voted unanimously Monday to elect school board member Bill Mathias as chairman of the board. At the same time, the board voted to elect Stephanie Luke as vice chairwoman of the board. The Lake County School Board is inching closer to an agreement with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Lake and Sumter Counties to allow the nonprofit to utilize 2.2 acres of the former site of Dabney Elementary School for a new center that will serve an additional 1,000 members. Although board members did not officially vote on the agreement, several members voiced support for it. The Lake County Commission will present its State of the County address at 9 a.m. on December 1st at the Lake County Administration Building on Main Street in Tiberias. The program will outline accomplishments made during the fiscal year of 2015, including economic development and tourism achievements, cost-saving initiatives, and quality of life improvements. A busload of delegates from the Lake County League of Cities was in Tallahassee this week, lobbying state legislatures for $5 million to pay for the last mile of pavement to complete the County Road 466A project. As things stand, the 466A project won't be completed until 2020, even though parts of it are already done. Lake County Sheriff's deputies took part in the nationwide program Coffee with a Cop on Tuesday morning in an aim to improve interaction between cops and citizens in an informal setting. On Monday, Claremont officials broke ground on a new $7.3 million new police station that will sit off Hammock Ridge Road. Lake County is reminding residents about mandatory seasonal watering restrictions are in effect until March 13th of 2016. For more information on these stories, visit dailycommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News in 90 on LSTV. I'm Michelle Wargo.